Hello everybody. Today I will talk about 5G overview network requirements. Last session was about use cases and this session will be about network requirement. As you know, IMT Twin Vision and inter this is the international mobile telecommunication targets for 2020 or 5G uh, vision. So MT vision framework and the overall obje objective of the future deployment of IMT for 2020 and be not the capabilities of IMT 2020 are identified which aim to make IMT 2020 more flexible, reliable and secure than previous IMT when providing diverse service in the three usage scenarios including enhanced mobile broadband and ultra reliable and low latency communication and third one massive machine type communication machine type communication we have different 5G capabilities so how many of capabilities supported at IMT and what is the key uh, requirement related to minimum technical performance of IMT 2020 for radio interface technology so today I will talk about two topics first the 5G capabilities and the minimum required First of all, we have 13 network capabilities for 5G at vision of IMMT and the focus will be for 8 network performance or I. As you see, 1. User experience data in megabit per second 2. Spectrum efficiency and mobility kilometer per hour latency in millisecond connection density number of devices per kilometer square and the network energy efficiency area traffic capacity and peak data rate in gigabit per second so this is the IMT 2020 each one of KPIs each one of these KPIs will have target for IMT as this number by the way this form is called spider form this is a spider form but at each one of the use cases what is the requirement of each of the combination between this network capabilities for each for each of one of the use cases so for example enhanced mobile broadband will focus mainly on user data rate and the big data rate also uh, for specter uh, efficiency and the mobility for example but the ultra re reliable low latency will focus on mainly on density uh, on latency and the machine type communication will uh, focus about network energy efficiency for example and the connection density so each one of the cases will focus at different requirement of each one of these key capabilities for example this is the relation between the key capabilities and the three usage scenario of ITU, ITU radio communication sector for example enhanced mobile broadband will focus at this area this area will focus more user experience data rate big data rate spectrum efficiency and area traffic capacity also network energy efficiency so here high importance for this five PIs for enhanced mobile broadband the focus will be 
more about uh, the five KPIs. But for ultra reliable and the low latency communication, mainly the focus will be more for mobility and the latency and so on for mo machine type communication. The focus will be connection density. So the 5G capabilities for IMT it's different for each one of the um, use cases and uh, sure will be different requirement for each one of these capabilities by the way there is subject is called network slicing to have different slice for each one of the requirement of these three usage scenario enhanced mobile broadband and ultra reliable low latency communication and the massive type communication so what is this the requirement there is a technical minimum technical performance requirement for uh, the uh, ITU for example the 13 one big data rate big spectral efficiency user exp experience data rate and a percentage uh, fifth percentile user spectral efficiency average spectral efficiency area traffic capacity user plane latency control plane latency and so on as the next page connection density energy efficient reliability mobility mobility interruption time and bandwidth this is 13 one 13 one of the minimum technical performance but we will focus about eight one of them this is the eight one for example we will talk uh, about what is the peak data rate for uh, for example enhanced mobile broadband this is the usage scenario uh, will be 20 gigabit per second and for uplink 10 gigabit per second so what is the big data rate the definition of big data rate is, is the maximum achievable data rate but in condition idle this is a definition by ITU all condition in bits per second so this is the official definition of the big data rate and will be uh, when all assign assignable radio resources for the corresponding link direction are utilized excluding radio resources that are used for physical layer synchronization reference signals or pilots guard band and guard type so this will for downlink 20 gigabit per second and for uplink will be 10 gigabit per cent for enhanced mobile broadband category for example so here we are talking about peak data rate first one second one peak spectral efficiency second one peak I will talk about some of them but all spectral efficiency what is the big spectral efficiency is the maximum data rate under idle condition normalized by channel bandwidth so data rate big data rate don't forget big data rate normalized for the total bandwidth so the unit will be bits per second per hertz this way where the maximum data rate is the received data bits assuming error free conditions and all this requirement for single mobile for single mobile okay also the all assignable 
read your resources for the corresponding link direction are utilized so we will exclude don't forget to exclude the resources the read your resources for we will exclude one read you resources that are used for physical layer physical layer synchronization also reference signals or pilots guard Bands. Okay. Third one. Uh, for example, we can uh, talk about. Uh, we need the different. Okay. We will talk about. For example, connection dynasty. Connection. This connection dynasty. Also, I will send you at this description link for ITU PDF you can revise all technical requirement for example we will talk about connection dynasty what is the connection dynasty is the total number of devices fulfilling a specific quality of service per unit area so is the total number of div div devices that fall failing a specific quality of service per kilometer square so connection density should be achieved for a limited bandwidth for a limited bandwidth and number of tiers the target quality of service is to support delivery of advantage of a certain size within a certain time and with a certain success probability so we need to add some condition for quality of service to delivery certain size within certain time and with certain success probability so you can find uh, different uh, different uh, key performance this is the minimum I talk about 3 of the 13 and of the uh, 8 requirement and you can continue to read about them uh, for example uh, you can will see here some definition like uh, for uh, GE here INH it's indoor DU dense and RU rule for example okay so today I want to thank you for this video and this session and don't forget to like and subscribe at my education channel at YouTube and want to see you at the next video so goodbye and a good luck